So the second part of SOAP is obviously the objective part. So we're going to do that next. This corresponds with chapter 15 there. For the main points with this, we have just the same sort of aspects as we had in the tests and measures component, the system reviews and the tests and measures. The important thing overall is the more you can use subcategories in a logical, concise flow for your documentation, the easier it will be to read. There are different uh, formats for uh, flow and subcategories, depending on what the category or what the style is for the clinic you're working at as well as somewhat for the different conditions. So you can follow that as well. It's also uh, important that you really pay particular attention to the specific components of document, documenting different um, uh, test results, right? Whether it's positive, right? Some tests only have a single positive, right? Positive means that there's pain. Some tests, you know, like ligament stability tests could be positive for pain. They could also be positive for instability, right, or laxity. And so you would need to document those as well as in addition to the muscle test. Sometimes there will also be charts associated with this where you may do your uh, manual muscle test or range of motion testing and opposed to writing it out longhand using a chart. So there are a bunch of different uh, components in there to understand and see uh, in the chapter uh, to uh, help you understand how to be both precise and concise. For the worksheet for this chapter, first part is uh, very similar to what we've been doing. You have a list of statements. You're either going to mark that it's part of the systems review or the tests and measure. The second component then is another <clears throat> list here. These are all going to now be in the objective statement components. So you can see some of the subsections here. On the first line, you're going to decide which of the subsections it would uh, go into, right? Uh, whether it's an ambulation, a transfer, balance coordination, etc. And then the second line, you're going to decide whether or not it is a functional or physical impairment. For the third part now, it has multiple components. As we've done previously, you have <clears throat> to decide first and foremost whether or not this is a systems review or an objective part of the evaluation. So you're going to do either write either SR for system review or O for objective. Anything that then is in the systems review, there is a systems review chart in the worksheet. And you're going to fill out that chart using the information in this list that you identified as systems review. For the objective component, you are then going to take and go into the different subcategories using the numbers as well and put them into the appropriate subcategory and the appropriate order. So the first component in there would be uh, range of motion, so you would find all of these that you identify in the objective that are range of motion and put them in a logical order, putting the numbers in each blank. Again, there are more blanks than you would need. Lastly, you are going to write out an objective component using the information provided. You can see the chart is included in there and you're going to write this out as an objective note. Again, if you have any questions, Please let me know.